this is Nick Leverland from Pegasus Property. We're a, a development company based in Stoke on Trent. I'm currently stood in a five bedroom HMO. This property has two one suites and one shared bathroom. Um, it's a mid terrace property. It was a three bedroom house and we converted uh, two of the ground floor reception rooms into bedrooms and we've also um, kept the three rooms upstairs and moved the bathroom upstairs as well. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick walk around of this property and let you know um, how we got on with it. Uh, it was purchased for £100,000 and it cost £30,000 to renovate. So here we are at the front of the property. Just got a uh, Virgin Media going in at the minute, so he's knocking about somewhere outside in the rain. Um, we put these uh, nice light fittings up, the LED energy saving light bulbs. They're about five quid each, but they're well worth the money. Uh, it's also on a sensor, so we always put uh, lights in communal spaces on sensors. Um, just quickly before I proceed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the floor plans up on the screen now. Um, and what you're actually going to see is you're going to see um, this staircase which is in front of me now. That's a new addition. So that staircase did initially run from left to right of the house, diagonally going across. Um, and this area that I'm stood in now was actually access to the back alley uh, with a flying freehold over the top. So this alley space was actually purchased and it allowed us to extend the width of the property. Uh, this was an integral part of um, actually making this deal work because you will see in the floor plan it's allowed us to use two reception rooms as bedrooms uh, which means this room in front of me here has been used as a communal space. Uh, but I'll go into that in a sec. Let's, let's go into the first bedroom. So quick one on the fire doors, you see that um, obviously we've got the intermittent strips inside and then we've got an overhead door shutter there. So this is basically the room. So we've got grey carpet, white walls, and then we've gone for a grey feature wall. This room has an ensuite. It's a little vanity unit. Power rad and toilet. And then you've got your shower here. It's an electric shower. Reason being is because we've kept it as three bathrooms, so it's got two on suites and one shared bathroom. That means we just ran two showers off the electrics, which means we could keep it one phase and then we've run one shower off of the combi boiler. If we were to have um, put a fourth shower in, we would have had to look at alternative solutions for supplying that hot water to those showers, potentially upgrade into an unvented cylinder tank system, which would have cost a lot more money. So that's what's allowed us to keep this project down to a 32 grand build, basically. So this is the other room. And again, it's got a nice little ensuite. Decent size little room, and again, you've got the uh, electric shower in there. We've done these big mirrors instead of doing tiles, so it acts as a splashback. Again, saves a bit of money. So, these are your two downstairs bedrooms. And this is the little communal space. So we've got a little uh, three seater sofa there. And we've got understair storage. So you, you may notice that the two en suites for the downstairs rooms, they're actually running underneath where the old staircase would have been. So we've utilized that space quite well. And we go through into the kitchen. So this is a big kitchen. There's plenty of space for uh, only five people. Got two big fridge freezers, washer, tumble dryer, got a breakfast bar. So this was actually a wall along here, which is where the um, downstairs bathroom would have been. And the toilet was down in that corner. So we've actually taken the wall out and just opened this space up. So it's turned it into a big old kitchen. Cool. 
so I'll go upstairs now. Oh, quick one on the kitchen. Um, the kitchen was from Howden's and we've used these um, handleless doors. So they look quite, I think it looks quite cool. And it stops you from catching and close on the handles as well, which we find happens quite a lot in HMOs. So this is kind of future proofing it a little bit, stopping uh, maintenance issues, door, door handles being ripped off. bring the floor plan for upstairs up now. So we'll start off on the uh, first bathroom. So this bathroom is uh, shared between three tenants. We need to put some opaque glass on but that's basically what the bathroom looks like. And then the shower is off the combi boiler. Got a nice towel rod as well. I'll start off in the uh, front left room. So yeah, this is the front left room. We always uh, furnish our properties to a high standard and dress them, make them look presentable for viewings. Really goes a long way. That's what allows us to fill rooms so easy. the other front right hand side bedroom and a quick quick one on the furniture by the way this this furniture is really good quality stuff metal drawers and these wardrobes got a solid backboard on them and they're on wheels as well, so you can easily move them around. And the doors have soft shutters, which I love. Then this is where the old staircase came up. So the old staircase came up here. So the en-suites are under there, basically. And then this is the back bedroom. And that's a walk-in wardrobe over there. So plenty of storage in this room. So thank you very much for watching our video. Um, if you would like to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, like our page. Uh, and also visit www.pegasuspg.com uh, to see some of our development projects and if you visit www.pegasuslettings.com you can see our letting agency service. Uh, thank you very much for watching, I'm Nick Leverland.